So you've clicked on this video because you wanna know how to build an AI agent to help you with a dropshipping store. I'm gonna explain exactly what I've been doing with my dropshipping stores over the past few months. And hopefully by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to learn from it. Now I do need to say before I get into this video that it shouldn't be taken as financial or business advice. All I'm simply gonna be doing is sharing my own personal opinion and my own experiences as to how I've been able to use AI agents in the recent months to help me out. So just treat this video as a form of education. And for those of you that's not really sure of exactly what an AI agent is, I'm just gonna quickly clarify it so that all of us are on the same page. So imagine this, you've got a store that's generating sales, or maybe you even haven't started generating sales yet, but there's certain tasks that need to be done on a daily, weekly, monthly basis with your store for you to be able to maintain it. Right now, what you're probably doing is using some sort of a freelancer, maybe one that you found on Upwork, maybe you found it on freelancer.com. And with that freelancer, you're gonna have to pay them when it comes to helping you run your dropshipping business. But imagine being able to use artificial intelligence in a way where you can build your own employee that you can program it to do a specific thing. It's gonna do it in the exact way that you want it to do it. And it's going to do it efficiently as well. That's basically what an AI agent is. And again, I'm gonna show you three different ones that you can build when it comes to assisting you with a dropshipping store, even if you're a complete beginner. Now let's jump straight into one of the first AI agents that you can build, which is one that's going to help you when it comes to getting organic traffic onto your site. So I'm sure that you guys already know that when it comes to being able to run a dropshipping store in a profitable way, you're going to need some sort of traffic going onto the site consistently for you to be able to potentially turn that traffic into paying customers. And of course you can run paid ads and that's definitely a great way to go. But if you're looking to do things in an organic way, there's a way that you can actually build an AI agent to help you with this. And let me quickly show you a illustration or an example as to how this works. So if I just jump onto Google, like any normal person would, I'm just gonna type in a random search term. I'm just gonna type in best workout or best home workout equipment. Then what I'm gonna do is just click on search. And if I just scroll down just like this, as you can see over here, there is this website that I've never come across before, but I'm just gonna click into this article. As you guys can see, it's a super simple, straight to the point, informative article, you know, letting the reader know about the 11 best low impact exercise equipment that they can buy for their home. There's a lot of information in this article, as you can see, but there's also these different sections where they're promoting products on their site that you know people can click on shop now add it directly to their cart and buy straight away so imagine how powerful this is you know being able to write articles like this get them ranked in the google search results so that you can get organic traffic without having to pay anything so that the person can be educated when it comes to the topic that they're researching but they can also be recommended various different products that they might be interested in and what's interesting about a shopify store like this is that if i just click into similar web we can see that the monthly visits that they get in is around 155,000 individual people, again, every single month. And if I just scroll down over here, we can see that the traffic sources when it comes to this website is mainly through direct and search based. And they're super consistent when it comes to posting all of these different articles as well on a daily, sometimes on a weekly basis. And this is the premise of how this particular AI agent works. It's gonna be able to take care of all of this for you when it comes to posting articles directly onto your Shopify store without you having to lift a finger. I'm gonna show you exactly how this works with a store that I was able to build using this AI store builder. So the store that I was able to build was a home and fitness store. I went through the process. I was able to get a Shopify trial as you guys may or may not know. This AI store builder just makes things super simple when it comes to testing out various different products, various different niches. And this is the Shopify dropshipping store that it was able to build for me within a few minutes with the help of AutoDS in terms of it being able to load all of these different winning products. But now that I've got my Shopify store to work from, I'm just gonna quickly walk you through the steps as to how you can build an AI agent that's going to automatically publish blog articles onto a Shopify dropshipping store. So the tool that I use is this one over here that could be found at make.com. Again, they haven't sponsored this video in any way, shape or form. I've just found it to be a very useful platform because the way that it works is that you're gonna be able to create an account for free. And once you've created your account and you've logged in, the way that it's going to work is that you're going to create a new scenario. And what this means is that you're gonna be able to integrate and sync various different AI tools and just regular platforms when it comes to doing a specific task. 
But enough of the talking, let me just jump in now and show you exactly how this works. So the first section of this sequence is going to be Google Sheets. I'm gonna tell make.com that I wanted to watch a new role. And then in here, I'm just going to select the correct spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna click on make test. And then I'm gonna select the right sheet and I'm also going to select the right headers. By the way, this is the Google Sheet that I'm gonna be working from that has the title, the SEO keyword, and the product link. So I'm just gonna insert all of the information for all of the articles into the spreadsheet. From there, what I'm gonna do is select this one, and then I'm going to click on Open AI. So I'm just gonna select it just like this and click on Create a Completion. There's gonna be some steps that you need to take when it comes to connecting your Open AI account. But for now, what I'm gonna do is Make sure that I come over here to the right model. The one that I like to select is 4.0 latest. And then within this text content box, all I need to do is paste this prompt where I'm gonna tell OpenAI or ChatGPT in this case to write a 1000 word SEO optimized blog article. Make sure that you get the title of the article from the spreadsheet as well as the keyword and the product link. And there's some other information when it comes to the formatting of the article as well. If you wanted me to make a detailed video showing you what goes into structuring the best prompt for the best article, just put in the comments down below, do the AI blog video and I'll get onto it ASAP. But for now, everything looks good. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and then click on save. And then finally, what I need to do is enter the Shopify module just by selecting it just like that. I'm gonna type in article. And of course you need to connect your Shopify store with an API custom app, but it's gonna be literally a case of just selecting the title of the article by getting it from the spreadsheet and for the body HTML, you're just gonna go over to open AI, open up choices, open up message, then click on content and then click on save. And when it comes to the information that's gonna go into the spreadsheet, I'm just going to use this blog title article, which is 10 tips for working out at home because the store that I'm using is a sports and fitness store. The keyword is gonna be home workout. And for the main product that I want to promote within the article, I'm just gonna go back over to the AI built store. And the product that I'm gonna be using is this one over here. So I'm just going to open it up, get the product link, and then just paste it into this section right here. And then literally from this point, all I gotta do is just click on run once. And as you can see, it's already gone straight to work to start analyzing the Google Sheet. And it's also producing the AI written article as well. And just like that, as you can see, it's been completed. You know, it was able to do it fairly quick. So what I'm gonna do is just go back over to the back end of my Shopify account. And we can see that the article has now been published. As you can see, it's just been published just now. So I'm just gonna open it up, make sure that everything is formatted correctly. Yep, by the looks of it, it seems like everything has been formatted correctly. I'm just gonna view it on the actual store. Okay, so there we go. This is the article, as you can see, you know, it looks well structured on the actual site. If I wanted to make any changes to it, e.g added more information into the text. Of course, I could just edit the prompt within make.com, but the reason why this is powerful is because you're gonna be able to automate this process so that the AI agent is going to work on your behalf. And of course, within the actual article itself, there's gonna be all of these different links where if someone clicks into the link, it's gonna take them directly to the product page where they're gonna be able to buy the item. But this now brings me on to one of the second AI agents that you're gonna be able to use when it comes to helping you manage a dropshipping store, which is going to be with the help of AutoDS. Now I'm sure you guys have already heard of AutoDS on this channel because I've spoken about it when it comes to helping you find various different winning products. If you don't know already, you can sign up for a 30 day trial with AutoDS and I've shown you guys the marketplace, I've shown you the handpicked products and all of these different trending products because of course AutoDS is one of the biggest dropshipping softwares that exists right now. So they've got so much data when it comes to all of these different items, but there's actually a way that you can use it in a similar way when it comes to helping you manage a dropshipping store in the way that an AI agent would help you. And this is gonna come down to three different things. One of the first ones is gonna be to help you when it comes to monitoring the prices on your supplier's website. 
Now, for those of you that's not really sure as to how dropshipping works, you're going to have to, of course, use a dropshipping supplier. You're going to have to buy an item from them whenever you make a sale and the supplier is going to send it directly to your customer. So with this, you're, of course, going to rely on the price that you saw on the supplier's website. So e.g. if a supplier is selling a product for around $10 and you're going to sell the product for around $30, you're, of course, hoping to make a gross profit of around $20, but overnight, if the supplier now changes their price to let's say $40, if you're still selling it at $30, you're gonna be losing money every single time. So this is where AutoDS is helpful because you can basically use it when it comes to instantly knowing if your supplier has changed their price. So instead of you having to hire a freelancer when it comes to looking at all of your supplier product pages, you can sync a product from AutoDS, from your supplier onto your store, so that if the price on the supplier page changes, AutoDS is going to be able to make the necessary adjustments on your own Shopify dropshipping site. Another way that AutoDS works as an AI agent is gonna be with stock monitoring. So e.g. if you've decided to use a particular supplier, e.g. a product that's being sold on AliExpress, and at the time the supplier told you that they've got an abundance of stock, you know, they've got a thousand units, 10,000 units. So you're now scaling a particular ad or maybe you're uploading various different blog articles to promote that product. And then all of a sudden the supplier runs out of stock. You're not gonna be able to know it unless you're sitting at the computer every single day, 24 seven. So AutoDS is gonna be able to help you when it comes to being able to monitor this. So you're not gonna have to sit by the laptop or hire someone else to do that. And the third way that AutoDS works as an AI agent is when it comes to auto fulfillment. So as a new order comes in, AutoDS is gonna be able to see all of the customer's information and they're gonna make sure that the product has been shipped out. The alternative to this is doing it manually. You're gonna to have to sit by the laptop, you know, copy and paste your buyer's information, remember which product they ordered and which supplier that you should use. Mistakes can definitely happen this way. So this is definitely something that you need to be cautious of. But for the most part, I would say that those are some of the ways that you can use AutoDS when it comes to automating various different aspects of a dropshipping store, there's other ways that you can use it too. And I've put a detailed video coming out in the next week or so when it comes to breaking everything down. So just be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss that video. But this now brings me on to one of the final AI agents that I wanna talk about quickly when it comes to helping me run my dropshipping stores, which is gonna come in the format of helping me with my email marketing. Now, a lot of people tend to neglect the idea of building up data, building up emails when it comes to their e-com business, when in reality, this is one of the most important things that you need to do. Collecting emails for people that have either bought from you or haven't bought from you is really important because of course, you're gonna be able to turn them either into new customers or returning customers. And there's a particular way that you can use an AI agent when it comes to collecting the emails. And you can also use the AI agent when it comes to automating the emails being sent out as well. Now, this video has already gone on a bit longer than what I expected. So what I'm gonna do is leave a video right there where I'm gonna break down the entire dropshipping business model in detail from A to Z, step by step, click by click, so that any beginner out there is going to know what they need to do straight after watching this video. Be sure to watch that because it's already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, it can also help you out as well. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.